Hey everybody, Greenfeet here. Out for a little hike on the Appalachian Trail this afternoon. Not doing much, maybe six miles or so. Just to uh, get out and keep the legs strong and get ready for the through hike. So yeah, this is gonna serve as my announcement. Um, I'm about 20 days out. I'm gonna start at uh, Springer Mountain on the 12th that's the plan I'm not gonna do the approach trail only because it's not about the miles it's simply that the, the approach trail just doesn't mean anything to me the arch is cool and all but Springer Mountain is the beginning of the Appalachian Trail and that's where I'm gonna start so uh, that's my plan so the whole last year while I was off the trail, as you guys know, I got off the trail for a medical issue last year. And uh, everything has resolved itself fairly well. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay enough to go hiking. So that's what I'm planning to do. And uh, uh, I will tell you that the last year my wife and I, Kathy and I, spent uh, last year during the hiking season... Uh, doing trail magic for all the through hikers that we could contact anyway and uh, we ran into some great folks I'll tell you man we we uh, we had spent some time with Craig Mains, T-Rex, Craig Mains twice, uh, T-Rex, uh, Quicksand, A John and Amy um, we uh, we uh, met up with the Wander Women and had a great <laughs> We had a great time hanging out with those guys for a while, and uh, it was just a just a pleasure, really a pleasure. And uh, and man, if you've never gone out and done trail magic, uh, and you really like the hiking community and you like hikers, I'll tell you, man, that's that's something you really ought to do. I mean, it doesn't take much. You can just go take a trash can and go to a gap, and just. Just stay in there and collect hiker trash. Maybe get yourself some uh, uh, some baggies, you know, from Ziploc bags, that kind of thing. Hand out Ziploc bags and take their trash. I'll tell you right now, that's a big help to hikers. Um, you can, uh, you know, provide a shuttle uh, here and there if you want to. You know, it's great that you're a great resource for them. They're rolling through. They don't know what's there. So in terms of, of places to eat or places to stay or... Uh, or uh, outfitters and those kind of things and that was what was great about our uh, our meeting up with the hikers we kind of linked up with on the trail uh, and um, we were able to just shuttle them around and just to support them in, in any way we could and it was a great great time I'll tell you we you know like I said we just you know you just meet these folks and they're right in the middle of a, the adventure of a lifetime for them and uh boy you get to know them you see their vlogs and you think you kind of know them but boy you link up with them and you find out that they're even better than their vlogs right you just find out they're great people so i highly recommend you go out and do something for the hiking community if you like uh, watching the hiking videos and you like uh you like uh meeting up with hikers i guarantee you they will really and truly appreciate it man it is uh, one of those things that uh, that they will actually they will they will like, uh, and you'll be helping them out. You'll really and really be helping them out. So uh, that kind of takes care of that little bit. Um, I'm not going to do any. Uh, I'm not going to do any any uh, equipment videos. My equipment videos are on my channel, and. Uh, I did not change a whole lot of equipment. I did change some things and we're gonna, we'll talk about that on the trail because we're gonna have plenty of time to do that. And uh, I, I uh, exchanged some things. I changed my winter loadout a little bit. Uh, I got rid of some things. And uh, man, that's really about it. I mean, I mean, I didn't change a whole lot. I thought through my equipment a little better, I think even more uh, as far as you know fitness and preparedness goes mentally um, I'm there man I I, uh, I know what I'm facing I know 
what it's going to be like. I've, I've, uh, I've not lived a cush life, you know, in the military and, and even after. Uh, so I, I get where I'm, where I'm going and what we're doing. So no big deal there. Um, but I didn't get out as much as I'd like to have, uh, and hiked, did, you know, a bunch more multi-day shakedown hikes. I didn't really, wasn't able to do that. Man, just life happened. And, uh, sometimes that's the way it is. I'm not going to worry about it. What we're going to do is get down to Georgia. We're going to hopefully meet some 2020 hikers. And, uh, man, we're going to start north. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know what? I just think I passed the bear track. I just want to go back here and see if it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that might have been a bear track. Okay, that's cool. The bears use these trails here, of course, too. You know, and uh, quite frankly, really, uh, the bears own it, honestly. This is their home, home turf. We're just borrowing it. We're walking through. And uh, that's great. I love it. I hope I see some bears, man. Uh, all from a distance. <laughs> but uh, but at any rate, um, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm about as prepared as, as I think I need to be. Now, and I'll tell you this. I plan to really and truly take it easy on the trail this time. I, I uh, bolted out of the gate last year and, and took off. But I was in, quite frankly, I was in a little better shape. So this year... I'm in okay shape. I'm in good shape. I'll take that. I'll say that. I'm not in great shape, but but uh, I'm going to just take it easy, man. I'm going to let my body tell me what I need to do, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to listen, and I'm going to try the best I can to hold myself back because I know me, man. I'll get out here, and I'll get motoring along the ridge line, and, and uh I'll pass a place I probably should have stopped, which will drive me on another X number of miles to get to another good place. But, but hey, man, the whole AT is a stealth spot, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to get out there and have some fun. And uh, really looking forward to uh, having you guys along and uh, sharing the journey with you. And, uh, you know, I'm going to end this thing up by saying, man, I gotta, I gotta thank some folks, you know. You know, first I'll tell you, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank my wife, Kathy. Kathy, Kathy really is the one making this possible. If it were not for, if it were not for her and uh, her strength, and uh, man, she's a strong, independent woman. She's had to be that her whole life with me gone in the military all over the world to, you know, less than garden spots, I'll say. And uh, she's always had to be tough, man. She's tough and resourceful. And man, she is shouldering a, a, a load and letting me go on this hike. Uh, and man, I'll tell you, I couldn't be more appreciative. And, um, you know, now that I'm retired, we spend a lot of time together and there's always that worry of, is it too much time? And for us, it's not at all. We, uh, we will miss each other um while i'm on the trail but she knows this is something i've always wanted to do and she supports that 100 percent. and i really can't wait until she meets me along the trail and uh, we get to uh, run around some of these trail towns we'll have a great time i'm sure and uh, man we'll have all that on on video you know as much as we can and and uh, so the other people i want to thank are the man the class of 2019 2018 17 and 16 and beyond because, uh, I, man, I watched all your videos out there and that was posted and read a lot of uh, blogs. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, tips and expertise abound. All you have to do is do a little looking, and I'll tell you that you won't have any problem finding, finding information that you need. Um, and uh, it, 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 it's just great. What a great resource YouTube is for that kind of thing. And, and the blogs too, of course, but, but boy, YouTube is such a great resource. You know, you get to kind of see everything, talk, and listen to these folks talk and so on. Man, so I'd like to thank all those people for, for getting on it, you know, and, and, uh, and sharing their experiences. But man, already this year we got happy 
Happy on the Trail, man. He's out there right now. If you're not following Happy on the Trail, go to his channel and, and take a look. The guy is, uh, he's just a good old boy, man. And he is out there trudging along in the wintertime, doing a great job. And uh, he, he only he only will put a video on, I'm guessing, like every three to four days, maybe five days, some of them. But hey, uh, watch them. They're great. And uh, it's just raw, man. He, he doesn't do a ton of, of editing and high-speed video stuff. He just is sharing his journey, and it's great. So I highly recommend you getting out to do that. Been following Hawk. You know, Hawk got off the tray after his yo-yo. Hulk's been up in Maine, up on the Franconia Ridge, up in or, uh, Acadia uh, State Park up there doing some crazy trails in the snow and ice. Wow, man, you got to go watch those videos too. I mean, uh, I'm a, absolutely amazing. The Wander Women, man, they are, man, they're perpetual motion. They, they haven't stopped since they got off the trail last year, man. And they're running all over Florida, having a great time in the parks. And they've got a couple uh, new videos up right now about what their plans are for this coming year, and uh, maybe a, and a potentially a PCT bid. So we're gonna we're gonna keep an eye on that and watch that. It ought to be great. And uh, like to thank Ram Dino, man. Ram Dino is doing a great job of keeping everybody up to date on everything that's going on out there, following the hikers. Uh, man, you can go to the, his spreadsheet, and uh, he's got links to all the YouTube channels that are going to be out there, and the ones that are out there now. So, so yeah, I just want to thank all those folks. Well, I'm on a ridge line, and uh, so that means I'm rambling as I'm walking along. But, uh, so listen, I'm, you probably won't see another video from me until I get to springer and uh beyond till i get service after that and then you'll see my first video and as we go man we'll talk about you know things that works things that don't work we'll talk about my gear changes and substitutions and uh hey if you have any questions or you want to ask me anything uh about you know anything man i'm i'm always open for that man fire away and uh hopefully i'll i'll have time and i will have time as i hit you know, Nero's and zeros and things like that for sure to answer questions. So no big deal, man. Just fire away if you got questions as I as I go along. Man, I'm really, really looking forward to the whole experience of uh, meeting people, walking the trail, seeing the views, you know. And uh, I kind of like to say two things, you know. We all know where the trail goes, but we never know where the journey is going to take us. And the other thing I like to say is every step with my own eyes, man. I've seen it enough on YouTube. Now I want to see it with my own eyes. All right. Oh, one other guy. Early riser. Man, that guy is that guy is just perpetual motion, too. He has got a lot of energy, and he's doing some great little videos of tips, use it or lose it. Go to his channel, man, and... and and absorb those right and listen I, i've known early riser for a number of years i know where he comes from i know what he's made out of and if early riser's telling you that it's because he believes it because he lived it he did it and uh, he will not steer you wrong so hey if you uh if you like it keep it use it try it if you don't like it hey drop it move on to the next thing man but uh but anyway, what a great guy, man, and, and great videos. All right, well, listen. I got to put on some miles here, this training hike. And uh, that's it. So this is Green Feet. Man, I'm out till you see me on, uh, out on Springer Mountain. Take care, man. Bye.